everyone, Kelp News here. A lot of talk about the Queen allegedly losing it and having a go at Harry and Meghan and taking away their titles and the keys to the cottage. I'm still waiting for confirmation on this, but as much as we would like it to be true, I don't think this is. However, it's not to say that things have not gone on behind closed doors. But I doubt that it has gone so far at the moment that they've had their titles taken away. So I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. And there has been a stripping of titles and uproar within a palace, but it's not in Buckingham Palace. It's in Bangkok, Thailand. I do know people there. I know some doctors who are connected to the palace in Thailand, but I don't know any more information as regards that than what is here. And and the only information I know regarding that story is what's in the news anyway. This is the palace where it's all happening. Thai King fires palace bedroom guards for violent conduct and adultery. That sounds quite dramatic. And it goes on to say, Thailand's king has fired four more palace officials, the latest in a series of high-profile public dismissals that include his own royal consort. Wow, he's having a real clean out. Um, also, it's, you're not allowed to talk about the royalty, even as regards um, whether they're well or not. The king of Thailand, the previous king, um, this king's father, his doctor was not even allowed to say whether he was well or not, or even whether he was actually treating him. And if if somebody spoke about the king in a bar or something in a public place, even if it wasn't negative, just by discussing his health, he could be thrown into prison. As I said, I don't know any more about this than what's out there, but I think it's all out there anyway. People are saying it would be great if this was happening in Buckingham Palace. It goes on, According to an official notice from the Thai royal household on Tuesday, King Maha Vajira Longkorn dismissed two palace officials for committing adultery and unspecified violent conduct. No details were given of their alleged misconduct, but the statement said that the two had been tasked with overseeing the royal palace bedrooms. They were both stripped of their military ranks of lieutenant colonel and royal decorations. In another palace announcement, two military officers were fired for lacking awareness of being a royal guard officer and for behaviour not being up to the standard of rank and position. I really think that Meghan and Harry should take note of all this. The dismissals follow, follow a turbulent few weeks at the palace. On October the 22nd, the king stripped his royal consort of her titles, status and military ranks for being disloyal only three months after she was anointed. Wow. Sininat Wangvajira Pagdi, 34, had been bestowed the title of Royal Noble Consort on July the 28th, the first woman to be given the rank in an earlier century. But the palace announcement accused her of trying to obstruct the king's wife from being crowned queen. The notice said that the king had anointed Sininat the title of Royal Noble Consort in the hopes she would change her behaviour and acts. Sounds familiar? But she continued to act disloyal, ungrateful and ungracious of His Majesty's kindness and sought to become equivalent with the Queen. Just days later, the palace announced the dismissal of six palace officials for severe disciplinary misconduct. They ranged from officials in the police and army to a Kun Ying, or a lady in the royal household and a high-ranking police lieutenant general of the Royal Household Bureau. His Majesty the King's Order accused them of severe disciplinary misconduct and exploiting the bureaucratic position for personal gains, the palace statement read. The palace statements on Tuesday made no link between the firing of the ten officials and the stripping of Sininat's titles. The series of dismissals in the palace statements give a rare insight into the inner workings of the royal household and the new king, who was crowned in May. It goes on to explain that Thailand's new monarch aims to practice highly centralised control over the palace, and perhaps by extension the entire kingdom of Thailand. Well, I think a lesson can be learned from this, and I thought I'd read it to you anyway because I found it interesting. and. We can only hope. So, as I said, 
as soon as I get confirmation, I will make a video about what's happening, but I don't have any confirmation as yet. So one way or the other. So I'm guessing it's just a rumour as regards our Queen stripping titles. Not to say that it's not in the pipeline. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.